I think there are two special things about this year. First, we're, we're pretty much back to the pre-COVID levels. The second thing that really makes this year unique is a finalist from the first year of this competition is in space right now, Woody Hoberg, circling over us in the International Space Station. He did a video for uh, the contestants this year. So it's exciting because we know that there's nothing that inspires kids to go into STEM as much as astronauts in space and to have that direct connective tissue from this competition to somebody in orbit right now is exciting and unique. Everyone has a different background. Everyone has come from different places. This is my third year participating. She's been here since middle school. Honestly, uh, if I'm being completely honest, you know the movie Hidden Figures. I saw that movie and then I knew that I wanted to be a part of that. So I plan to go to college for aerospace engineering and hope to work in the field. I got a scholarship to college because of what I've done. I thought it was important to be here today because, well, I got to be here for my team and I knew from the beginning of this competition that if we made it to nationals, I would just skip my graduation and come here and support them. I feel like you should try everything once. Um, I tried rocketry at the age of eight and that's what got me into rocketry. The whole process of building a whole rocket and competing at nationals is really great. Having a diverse group of ambassadors so that our visitors can understand the different pathways you can take to be at nationals. I was interested in it because my science teacher told me about all the opportunities that it would provide me. So that's what sparked my interest in rocketry. So this is our first year getting to come to DC to compete in the planes. We have five girls and four boys. We have a team of nine. A lot of work goes into it year-round. There's sponsorships, partnerships, most important being with the National Association of Rocketry. We want to make sure that we are getting as many teams competing as possible. This is a competition after all. And as our country gets more and more diverse, we need to make sure that the contestants and the teams reflect that. This is a technical challenge. Every one of these teams goes about trying to win in a different way, slightly different way, different rockets, different compositions, different engines. And that's part of diversity as well, is bringing different backgrounds, viewpoints, and ideas to get as many different ideas into the rocketry challenge as possible to see who gets a win. 